Hi Smart Traders, it's Lucas from Contour. Welcome to this channel which helps you to develop your algorithmic trading strategies and increase your profit. Today, I will show you how to put in live trading a trading strategy based on machine learning. Before beginning this video, I want to tell you that the second edition of my book, Python for Finance and Algorithmic Trading, will be available soon on Amazon. So in this video, I will show you how to put in live trading a trading strategy based on machine learning. It will be exactly the same thing as the previous video. So the only thing that we need to change here is the signal function. So if you want to learn more about machine learning for algorithmic trading, you can check my tutorial in the description. But if you just want to have a quick review of this strategy, you can check this video in which we have created this strategy together. So it can be a good thing to implement this strategy in live trading to give you an example to have on one hand the development and another hand the production. First, we need to import some libraries. So this library chapter 8 MT5 is our toolbox. Okay, so it's a different name because it comes from another tutorial. Then we need to import TA, NumPy, DateTime, Pandas, Meter05, etc. We initialize the bound between Meter05 and Python, and then we will create our signal. So, as input, we only need the symbol. Then, we need to use the features engineering function, because to create a machine learning algorithm, you need to do not take only the open, high, low, close volume data. You need to transform this data to help your algorithm to understand better the features and the relationship between the data. Then we import the data that we want. We rename the column. We transform the data. And then we split our set between two sets, train and test. So I will not explain all the machine learning specificities here. So you can check my tutorial if you want to learn more about it. Then we standardize the data to put all the data on the same scale. Because for example, if you have the volume in billion and the price, which is equal to 1.11, for example, the two variables are not on the same scale. So it will be very problematic for the algorithm. Then we use a PCA, so I will not explain it here what it is, but I have explained it in the tutorial. And then we will fit our algorithm and we will predict some variation for our algorithm and we'll take only the last variation to have the future variation of tomorrow. And then we will see if we need to buy or sell the assets. So here, it is exactly the same template as before, so I will not explain it. The only thing that changed here is the time condition. I have chosen to use another time condition, okay, to allow you to understand the difference and to allow you to choose which type of time condition is the best for your project. So here, as you can see, we do not have the launching variable because this launching variable is always at this hour, okay? For this time condition, I have chosen to use only one hour. And here, you can choose to do not trade some days. For example, if I do not want to trade the weekend, I will put five for the Saturday and six for the Sunday. And then if the day is not Saturday or Sunday, and the time is equal to this one, then I can run all this code. And all this code is exactly what we have seen in the last video. And then as we can see, we have an issue, which is market close, but it means that the code run, the code works. But when I make this video, the market is closed. But if you run this code when the market is open, you will open some position. I hope you like this video. Don't hesitate to like and subscribe. It's very essential for my SEO.